Welcome to EBITDEX. In this video, we will explain to you all the basics on how to process epoxy resin. How deep can I pour? How long does it take for the resin to cure? When will the resin gelify? And when should I draw my patterns in? All these questions cannot be answered in a general way because the maximum pouring height, as well as the processing and curing time, are influenced by the reactivity of the epoxy resin system, the casting volume, in other words, the pouring height and area, as well as the temperature. All three factors mutually affect each other. When mixing the resin and hardener together, both components react with each other. The reaction generates heat, which of course heats up the mixture. The heating of the mixture is necessary for it to cure. The pouring height is limited by the intensity of the reaction. If the mixture gets too hot, it can boil, turn yellow, and even crack. The more reactive the epoxy resin system, the lower the pouring height or thickness per casting. Epidex's Eco and Pro system are more reactive than the Pro Plus system. While you can pour up to 1 cm with the Eco system and 2 cm with the Pro system, the Pro Plus system can be poured up to 5 cm thick in one pour. For all three systems, the maximum thickness applies regardless of the size of your project, at room temperature of approximately 20 degrees Celsius. If you pour small areas or lower the room temperature, you can cast with our Pro Plus system up to 30 cm thick at once. The maximum pouring height is not only determined by the system's reactivity, but also by the area to pour and the temperature. The three factors influence the working and curing times in a similar way to the pouring height. Reactive epoxy resin systems such as the Eco and Pro systems cure faster, but therefore only have short processing time. Less reactive systems such as Pro Plus cure slowly and therefore have a longer processing time. The lower the casting volume and temperature, the longer the processing and curing time. In the same way, the processing and curing time is shorter if the casting volume and temperature are higher. The three factors already start to influence each other in the mixing jug. After mixing 100 grams of resin and hardener, the ecosystem starts to genify after approximately 25 minutes at 20 degrees Celsius, meaning it has the consistency of a gel. This time frame is called the pot life. If you mix 10 kilograms of the ecosystem or increase the temperature, the system will react within a few minutes, which could lead to curing inside the mixing jug. That's why we recommend, when using a reactive epoxy resin system, to pour the mixture onto the surface to be coated immediately after mixing. This prevents a precipitated reaction and shortened processing and curing time. You should always consider all three factors in order to control the reaction. The more you experiment with epoxy resin, the more you should be familiar with the epoxy resin system you are using. For example, if you are working with color pigments and would like to draw patterns, it is important that you control the gelling time in order for the drawn patterns not to fade and the color pigments not to sink. The gelling time depends on the three factors as well as on how much time the mixture is spent inside the mixing jug. If you are working with a reactive epoxy resin system, such as the Eco or Pro system, the gelling time will usually be within the first two hours after mixing. Depending on the casting volume and the temperature, we recommend drawing your patterns at regular intervals as long as the mixture can be processed. This way, you'll be sure to get the desired pattern. Most epoxy resin should be applied above 10 to 15 degrees Celsius because the mixture can not only overheat, but it can also be too cold and not cure completely. This is especially true if you are applying thin coats and are working with unreactive systems. Always consider the room temperature as well as the components and substrate temperature. If the room temperature is right, but the components are too cold, the mixture won't be able to fully chemically cure. This could lead to problems such as water sensitivity, easy marking under pressure, and high scratch sensitivity. To control the reaction, you should always consider all three factors the epoxy resin's reactivity, the casting volume, and the temperature in relation with one another. Detailed information and a direct comparison of our epoxy resin systems can be found on each product page under the button Learn More. Here, you can find out how to use our systems and which system is ideal for your project. Besides application examples and processing properties, you will find all technical data. Enjoy processing our products. 
your Epidex team.